Okay, so we're back. Um, Lip gloss check. Part two. Well, it's not part two. It's the next video. Um, Y'all, I'm, I'm not as dark in person. <laughs> See, when I come up, I'm like so much lighter. <laughs> like, this is ridiculous. Um, Be surprised at what color I am. Just know my lips popping in my hair is too. Okay, y'all. You heard it first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, let me turn on the music. So, in this video, we're gonna be talking about dating and waiting. So, yes. As you can see from the title of this video, it is titled, Waiting with the Purpose, because like that is one thing that we all agree on. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna give you a breakdown of what it is and what we believe and basically like what type of guy we're like waiting for. Mm -hmm. So anybody wanna like start off or? Um, believe it or not, when we started this journey, we all had um, purity rings. We did. And don't think that just because we don't have them on that we are doing any and everything. Because we, we lost aren't. Them. We all um, lost them. Um, <laughs> The ring, the ring wasn't just to say like, okay, this is, because we have this ring, we're not going to do anything. It was mm -hmm. already like was a, a promise, a vow that we made before the ring. Yeah, it was just, the ring was basically just like a reminder. A yeah. And like a symbol to like show people like, hey, you know, we're going to wait. Like we, we're not about to mess around, you know? Yeah. So. We lost them, but Sadly. not because but we, that we did anything. I lost them out at church. The, like a, a week or so before I moved to college, and I was like, "Are you serious?" So that's how I, I left mine at um, my dad's house. Like I lost it somewhere. But anyway, that's another story, another for, story another for another day. day. But today we're gonna talk about our purity. I think. Wait, how did you? Been... How did you lose yours? I was saying the same for another day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. I mean, because I really, I really have no clue. Like, I lost it, but I found it again. I posted it on Snapchat. I was like, put your mind at ease because I found my purity ring. But guys, after I found it, I lost it again. Um, I have no clue where this little ring keeps coming to get off. A, another one. We should, we should, we should get another. We should, get we should, get another should another one. do it together. Remember no, when we thanks. were gonna do the, like, the <laughs> <laughs> certificates together? She said, I like the certificates and maybe a necklace this time. Something that I won't lose. Cause guys, if I lost the first ring, I don't want. I mean, you can you can get lose. the ring and then put it on a necklace. Yeah. That, or you can have that my box. I have a ring box. Yeah. So like when you take it off, you can put it in there. Right. Sorry. So I'm back topic. in with the ring situation, but Yay! don't feel like just because you don't have a ring, you can't still be pure. Yeah. Exactly. That, don't. That's the purity thing. starts right here. In the yeah. Heart. It starts right here. And it's a and mindset. It's, it's a heart. mindset. And purity. <laughs> and please, please, please don't get me wrong. Purity is not just um, like abstaining from sex. Sexual intercourse. Purity oh, is like. Mentally, I mean, it's a mental thing. Like, pornography, mindset, pornography, masturbation, like, masturbation, all this stuff. Like people, people don't really like to talk about this stuff, but it's really, it's really necessary. something that needs to be talked yeah, about. Yeah, like we keep it one. Like a lot of people like Always. cringe when they hear these words and stuff. I'm just like, honey, it's it's what it is. You right. know, it's happening. Like, yeah. Like, People are struggling from this stuff. And these children start at a young age. So, like, if you're oh, 13, yeah. 12, 14 watching this video, you are not too young to hear this. Yeah. Don't do if what anything, that's are doing. Now this is when you, you should need to know. It. Yeah. Because exactly. it's better when you wait for a man. And because we're not in relationships right now, when we get married, we're still going to be here. We're going oh, through yeah. this with you. Yeah. Just yeah. know we're with you. Don't look at it as, like, we're their husbands. Like, that. Don't look at it from that perspective. Yeah, don't try to say like We're in this together. I don't like when people say, "Well, how can you give me advice when you don't have a man right this now?" Unresolved. No, I this is we why know. we can talk to you is because we've gone through different things. Like, so we relate to you from different perspectives because yeah, yeah. we've all gone through different things. So, like, what I've gone through, like. Ash may not have gone through, and what Ash has gone through, I may not have gone through. So I'm gonna seek advice from someone who has learned their lesson, and I can learn from their experiences. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Exactly. Like if you don't have a boyfriend, Ashley, I've never had a boyfriend. <laughs> uh, I've never dated, never talked to anyone, which is okay. Like I'm about to be 20, and I've never dated, and I'm not ashamed to say that because a lot of girls like hop in and out of relationships, and I'm not judging you for like that. I'm not okay. I'm not. I mean, I, you have to own what you've done. <laughs> I mean, like, that is true. I, I that don't mind true. being in relationships yeah. and like talking to guys because I feel in my. I used to feel this way. I used to feel like you needed to learn how to date, but you don't have to learn how to date. You're just getting to know somebody as your friend first. Yeah. yeah. And you're going to have common interests and communication going to flow. There's nothing to be learned. It comes natural. 
It really yeah. does. Really, you may be like me, and you've dated before, and you're just not in the swing of things anymore. <laughs> because, like, for me, I've truly forgotten everything. Like, if you follow my blog, then you heard my breakup story. Um, it's something that I'm not ashamed to talk about anymore. But I feel like it needs to be talked about that sometimes you just get out of the swing of things. Like, I honestly, like, when a guy approaches me, like, I get so anxious. Like, mm -hmm. I, I'm all, I'm like, I'm about to pass out. Like, because I honestly don't know how to talk to a guy anymore. And I feel like God has it that way for a reason because he don't want me talking to all these randoms. Like, he has someone for me. Exactly. And once I meet the right person, like, it'll flow. There will be no, you know, I don't know how to form a conversation with you because it'll come naturally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, that was honestly like a, a prayer of mine. Like, I was like, God, I don't want to be dating everybody. And that's, I feel like that's the main reason why I've never been, like, in a relationship because I prayed when I was younger. I was like, God, I only want to be in a relationship with one person and I want that person to be my husband. Like, I don't, like, I don't have time for the heartbreaks mm -hmm. and, like, all this unnecessary stuff. Like, God has one person for mm -hmm. me and I will wait for him. Like, I, yeah. I don't have time for that. Like, heartbreak is something. Like, I've been through it. And when your grandparents or your mother or whatever elder that you have that you're looking up to and they're saying, oh, you don't want to eat, you don't want to do anything, like you feel the pain in your body from this heartbreak. It's a physical thing. It's like, it's some love is something mental, but you feel it so physical when your heart is broken. Yeah, and to avoid these things, that's why we're sitting here having these car conversations mm -hmm. because, yeah. like, it's something that needs to be talked about, talked about. And I mean, like, you may be like Ashley, and you've never dated before, mm -hmm. and that's why we want to voice this so much mm -hmm. to wait. It's okay to it's wait. Okay. It's okay to never have had a boyfriend. It's okay to never have had your first kiss. It is okay. You're not weird. Right. But if you have, like, that's there's okay too. Like, that. there's still hope for you. Like, yeah. just because you mm -hmm. may have had sex before, that doesn't mean that God doesn't have somebody specifically for you. you. We want this channel and this like topic to be something that everybody can relate to. Truly, yeah, and yeah. it doesn't even matter if you have a child. Like God has somebody who's ready to be celibate. Yeah, this is the thing, celibate and ready and waiting for you. With and they may have siblings for your children. You may not have grow a whole new family. Like God has somebody celibate. If he is not for you, if he's trying to have sex with you, no. Yeah, if and. He's, Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta include <laughs> this people too because like I was thinking about this even if you've been married and you've been divorced that doesn't like don't feel like God doesn't have somebody else for you mm -hmm. like cuz maybe you've dated the wrong way and you ended up in a relationship that God never intended for you to be in mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that God doesn't have someone else for you someone who's gonna respect you and protect you and be that Love godly man you. that yeah. God yeah. has for you just keep believing you know you could be 20 you could be 30 you could be 50 yeah. God has someone for you because yeah. God God loves family like I really, yeah, he I does really believe he that. loves families like he did it he put people on this earth because he loves relationships he loves friendships but you get the blessing when you do it God's way exactly yeah you can avoid a whole lot of heartbreak exactly I wouldn't necessarily say heartbreak but you can avoid a whole lot of STDs unplanned pregnancy unnecessary you, soul stuff. Ties, <laughs> a connection like you will be running back to this person if they use sex to sell water bottles and food you know sex is powerful and it can really manipulate your brain so just wait and maybe you're in a relationship with the person that you feel like is the one for you let me tell you this if you are having sex stop stop because this is why because um you'll be surprised how much you discover about a person when you take sex out of the equation because when sex is the only thing you guys have in common you're gonna th you're gonna be like I can't marry you we don't even have anything in common that so once you take sex out of the equation you'll be able to see more clearly because sex truly could don't let it, it cloud your yeah judgment. it clouds your judgment mm -hmm. And, and during your wait, like, don't compare your love life to anybody else's. Like, for me... Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Like, this was a lesson I should have learned three years ago, but I just learned it, like, a couple of months ago. Um, that don't compare your love life to, to everybody else's because your love life isn't going to be like everybody else's. And God didn't design for yours to be like anyone anyone else's. Well, because he, he, yeah, he uniquely made all of us and... Like, there's things that he wants to do through you and your relationship 
wants he brings you that godly man because you know you're not just in a relationship just to be in one yeah it's cool but um god puts us together to do things to advance the kingdom of god mm -hmm. and so like what he who he has for me and what he has for me may not be what he has for you exactly and exactly. i can't i'll be worrying myself to death if i coveted what someone else mm -hmm. had because more than likely they're ready made and they've gone through their process oh, yeah. when yeah. they're in a real relationship and they've done it god's way their purpose they're on the purpose train and they have fulfilled their process and they're walking in their purpose at that moment mm -hmm. see we're we're all building we're all growing and so what you're going to have is somebody that you're going to link up with that's growing to going at your same speed mm -hmm. with the same mindset as you yeah. like it's not going to be somebody pressuring you into anything it's not going to be someone making you feel bad or feel inadequate mm -hmm. about yourself mm -hmm. it's going to be purpose driven yeah 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 i agree um there is one thing i want to talk about too like for the christian women like about like the guy might not be your boaz and it was oh, talking yeah. about like that like spoke volumes yeah to me. It did. i was like when I saw the title, I did not want to read it. Yeah. And, I, and I wrote that in my caption. I was like, I don't want to read it because I was like, God is sending me yeah. my Boaz. Yeah. I don't know what Because that's what you first about. thought it was. But yeah. it, the, it, article, the article is so much different. So powerful. Because, like, a lot of people think about Ruth and, like, how she waited and stuff for Boaz and he was, like, perfect and all this stuff. And, like, the article was just saying, like, you might not have a Boaz. You might have a Moses or you might have an Abraham. Like, like yes. these people or went through David. stuff exactly and like he was like these people went through stuff and like the thing is like for me like I, this has been going through my mind a lot like i'm sitting here like waiting for him but like while i'm waiting i should be praying for myself like hey god like help me to be the woman that i need to be for my husband because mm -hmm. when he goes through trials and tribulations i want to be able to be <laughs> by his side and help him get through these things like i don't want to just like sit there and watch him like i want to be ready i want to be the woman i need to be i want to be the woman of god i need to be yeah. for him you know like support him and exactly the mission exactly he's supposed to cultivate you but exactly. you're supposed to help him as well exactly it's it should go hand in hand yeah like, like, I don't know, like, I feel like a lot of women don't pray, like, hey, God, help me to be who I need to be. They just pray for him. Or, exactly. Yeah. You know, like, one thing um, that, like, that goes with what my pastor says, y'all. I go to Hope Church and want to rob it. Shout so, out Hope Church. <laughs> if you, if you <laughs> heard of it, you need to go check it out because my pastor can preach the girl, house down. He can preach the house down. But so Sunday, he preached um, a new sermon series on relationships. Mm -hmm. And he talked a lot about you know like we zoom in on a lot of like flaws in other people when the things that we zoom in are the same things that we can find within ourselves and so that's something that i've always struggled with because because i've never seen like a successful like marriage i guess like you don't see it often you don't see it often and so like one thing like since i gave my life to god and i said i wanted god to write my love story i've I've come to terms that I've tried to find the perfect man. He does. And he doesn't he does not exist. exist. He does not. And even if like I have this long checklist of what I want my future husband to be, I've got to be that. Like exactly. I've got to be the person that I want I, to find. Exactly. And if if yeah. those things aren't found in myself first, then what am I looking for? God's not going to give me somebody that I'm not ready for. Exactly. Somebody that I can't handle. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if that's something to take with you like on this journey work on yourself and work on your relationship with god because yeah. those are the things that's going to sustain you while you're waiting because exactly. waiting is not easy oh boy it's not it's not, <laughs> it's easy. not easy um so not like easy. you need to this is the time to figure out who you are yeah, yeah. as a person and who you are in christ yeah figure out your goals don't wait on someone else to achieve your goals if you want to travel the world don't wait on someone else to do it because you can you'll be waiting twice. you'll be waiting forever exactly you know right. what I'm saying? Live now and live and enjoy like that post. Enjoy the season that you're in now because you you don't want to miss out on exactly. life trying to find that one thing because you know like marriage is a goal but it's not the ultimate goal. Exactly. Like when you think about why we were put on earth, it's not the ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. So like there's so much more to life than just that. Like don't just spend it's the It's a bonus. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a one bonus. of those things that will be added unto you. Yeah, but what's the word before it? Seek first the mm -hmm. kingdom of God. You know what I'm saying? And all his righteousness. And all his righteousness. You gotta seek God first. Because at the end of the day, like if you are never married, 
God is your first love. Exactly. And if you exactly. die with your work, you will have an inheritance. Unfinished. For your you know what I'm saying? Like unfinished. I'm sorry. And you they don't. And you you don't. You're not where you want to be in your relationship with him. That's going to be a sad day. Yeah, that is true. That is so true. Like that's a sad day. And um, I'm, I want to say like no, this isn't only for girls. Like this goes for guys too, because I know there are plenty. Like there are probably like men out there who, who's never dated too, and they may feel lonely and like, hey, I'm the only one in this. But you're not. I'm sure there's like other men out there. Cause like for me myself, like never dating anyone, I always thought that I was the only one. And like as time went by, like God brought people into my life. Her who best friend had have never dated. never dated. Well, she's dating now, but still, like I mean, that's that goes to show. Like if you wait, you know, God will, God will, you know, reward you. Like He'll give you what you want, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but I was watching this video too, of like Jamie Grace, and like I was looking in the comments, and so many women, way older than I am, who's like thirty, like they've still never dated. They've never had their first kiss, you know, stuff like that. And I'm just like God, you know. I'm only 19 and I've never dated, but here are these women, like, they've never dated and they're 30, you know? So, I mean, it just goes for both, you know, you're not alone. Uh, so, hi guys, we're, we're back. back again. My camera got too hot. And it shut off. <laughs> and yeah, it shut off. So Yeah, I still look so dark. But Ebony J is here and she's complaining about her beautiful complexion. I know. Even what did Chris she... tell you? I what like. Did Chris tell you? I, I love like Look, being. Again. I love being chocolate, but like chocolate. sometimes chocolate. it doesn't come in <laughs> handy because like like I hate not being able to see myself. Like I can't even see my facial expressions. When I see you. When I'm back here, you can't. <laughs> well, Shamika was blurry the whole time. <laughs> you can see me now. I'm like I'm really not that chocolate. Like this. Like, yeah, just do like this. Um. Okay. I'm not so. Focused. What type, what type of men do you focus? want? Yes, you are in focus, Shamika. <laughs> what type of man do you want? Okay, honestly, as I've grown and I've closed that, I, one point in time I closed out all races except my own race. But as I thought about that, it was very idiotic of me to say such a thing. Because if I'm a Christian, I'm spiritual. It's not about yeah. the color of my flesh. I, I should hate my flesh because my flesh is what causes me to sin. So it's not about the flesh or the oh, color I like of my that. flesh. Me too. So I as long as he's a godly man with integrity and just loves me, loves God more than me. And I don't care what what his skin color looks like. I want him to be educated. Or if he's a manly man, like I want him to be well versed on whatever knack he has, whether it's a mechanic, I want you to know everything. Whether it like be very be at the top of your game and whatever your skill is that God has blessed you with. Like that's what I ask for. And I also say that I want somebody who has swag, saucing, I'm saucing, I'm saucing. Yes, like you have to be sauce. Like I like I like that. She's laughing, y'all, because they don't like my lingo. Oh my god! I am in this. I'm popping. <laughs> She's popping. What about you, Ebony? Okay, so. Okay, so. Um, I'm working on not being as complicated, but I do want a vanilla young Are thing. You I'm complicated? To compliment <laughs> my chocolate complexion. No, no, I'm dead serious. I do like white boys like a lot. They're not white. Um, Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm really Nigerian, um, guys. We just haven't done the answer. You interrupted yet. my time. I'm sorry. Like, okay, but you know, siento. um, I do, I do like white Boy, guys. Convincing. You know, I do want a vanillian thing to complement this chocolate really? beauty. And um, no, like, yeah, you gotta be cute. You gotta have like, um, like. I don't have a particular style like you can whatever your style is as long as you rock it I'm cool because well. some days like I, I wake up hipster some days I wake up like chic like you never know what you're gonna get with me Very so fun. like whatever you want to do like do it and do it well um you have to be a godly man because yes. if I'm gonna be yes. praying the house down, like I need you to be able to behind me anointing doors, you know, oh, casting my. out demons. Like you know what I'm saying? You gotta be grounded in your relationship with God. Like yeah. that's to me that wins my heart more than anything. But I also like um I like funny. Like you can all those other things like God is first. Oh, yeah. But um like you have to be funny, like I love to laugh. I love to smile. Like, I just like that. So, like, that's so attractive to me. Someone who's funny. And, um, just really 
you know you know like i guess how do i call it like charismatic mm -hmm. yeah like um you got to be grounded in your relationship with god you have to be funny and another thing <laughs> is um i want someone who is like really caring because like I'm a really caring person and like in my past relationships like I've been the one who like cares so much and I end up with people who don't care so um the man I marry will be someone who is just as caring as me or maybe yeah. more no so Ashley what kind of guy do you like mm, okay mm. I don't really have like a list like most girls do. I'm not saying like y'all's were like, a list or anything, but like a lot of girls like have like a checklist. Like tall, dark, you gotta be sporty. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, gotta be tall. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have blue eyes. Yeah. Is, um, you gotta have brown hair and you gotta have abs. Right. Like you gotta oh, be tall, abs dark, and handsome. Abs is a must. It's a must. Six pack, not an eight pack. And you gotta drink that protein, protein shake, shake like it's a Mountain Dew every day. Oh my gosh. Cliff bars on deck. On deck. What? But yeah, that's that's not me. Um. I'm kind of like laid back like y'all are like I mean I like I like white boys okay? <laughs> it's, it's not a secret like a lot of people know that about me if you don't well now you know um she's not anti anyone yeah I'm not I'm not anti -anyone. no like don't like, think that like, none right. of us are like we yeah. it's just like something like we we're attracted to I mean don't if God me had a here. black man for me okay <laughs> if God had an Asian man for me okay like I don't care like as long as you're a man of God and you're after God's heart then I'm okay okay like, yeah like if we can you know read our Bibles every day together pray before we go to bed you know like stuff like that like you just have to be after God's heart, you know, like how you carry yourself. It's just a preference thing. It's kind of yeah. like what you're attracted yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Like that's something that. that we just so. all had in common, you yeah, know. Like yeah. I like man buns. Like oh, we. That's. Was. I mean, I think that's how me and Ashley like connected. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was. That was. Like we. I mean, we had this like obsession with man buns, and every like soon as we found out each other liked them, like we would point it out everywhere. Man buns. Man buns. Man buns. Man buns. Man buns, man buns, man buns. Oh my gosh! But like honestly, though, if you don't have, a, if the, my husband doesn't have a man bun, I'll be okay with that. Like, me too. I'm okay with any hair type. And if he doesn't have an ace hood swag, I'm, I'm okay with it. What is, swag? <laughs> what is that? She she doesn't listen to this. I don't know what that is. Like, if God sends you, you're pretty darn good. Like, I mean, I mean, he, God knows what I want, and I'm sure I'm. I know for a fact he's gonna send him to me. Um, but I mean, I do have things that I like notice first in a, a person when I see them, like their eye color or their smile or the way they carry themselves. Like that, like I'm very observative, so like I watch people. I like once you get to know me. Me too. <clears throat> even though it doesn't seem, it doesn't seem like She's it now. A I'm not a stalker. <laughs> even though it doesn't seem like it now, I'm. I don't talk very much. Um, I watch and I like to watch and I'm not stalkerish I promise I just Jeez. I like to see the way people react with one another and like how they interact with one another and I like to see like body language and stuff like I, I need to I don't know I'm not weird I'm pro I promise I'm she's not, not I'm like, I do the same not thing stalker. I just I really like to like w watch people Ebony's the mean person Ashley's the shy person I am the person that they always say you too friendly did she just say I'm mean she just said I'm really not mean um okay I, I sometimes come off a lot as mean because like um I'm kind of like Ashley oh, <laughs> just to clarify. It, it, it cut off again sorry <laughs> And just to clarify, Ebony J, this girl right here, is not me. She's not. She's standoffish until she gets to know you. Like yeah, she has to pick up on true. your vibe and just make that's sure. True. Like, which isn't a bad thing. I, there's nothing wrong with her having her. Inspection. I learned it from my mommy. Well, I don't think it's a bad thing. It's like for me, it's come in handy like a lot because I don't. I don't right off the bat just say like, oh my gosh, you're gonna be my best friend. Yeah, no. Like I don't do that. Like I have to watch know. how you act towards other people and mm -hmm. how how you carry yourself and like Ashley said, like your body language because like to me that speaks more than what you tell me. Exactly. Because people your can actions. tell you anything. Yeah. That is like true. they can that is they true. can have you thinking that they're this person and then be like the once you become friends with them, they're a totally different person. And so like that's why I'm so watchful <clears> before same. like while I'm getting to know people mm -hmm. like I'm not stalkerish but I just really like to get to know people yeah so I don't know if that was like I don't know like in like that wasn't very much detail about the type of person we want but I mean if you have any questions for us ask us in the comments um, right. we're gonna try to do this every other week because we're all free this summer so Definitely. <laughs> we're nice. all free. why we're free uh, for, okay. for now, we're all free, but 
and to um, end this video i wanted to end with to tell you guys that you're not one size fits all every guy here isn't going to be for you and every you're not for every guy mm -hmm. so you're not one size fits all you're a custom fit for a king yes and when i heard that but, quote i took it and i ran I, like mm, I like it custom fit for yeah. a king but yeah, yeah. i like just honestly like i know it's hard especially when you're in middle school and high school be yourself okay. be yourself yeah, yeah. and the right people will college gravitate too. towards you college too. yeah college too like be yourself like the right friendships and the relationships will gravitate towards mm -hmm. you you just have to be yourself like yeah. definitely I agree. there'll be people out there like me and Ashley observing you to see if you're the person that you say you are true that's true. And so someone's <laughs> always watching. I've learned that myself. Like somebody's always watching. Like I've had people come up to me and tell me things about myself. I'm just like, when did you see that? And like they just they watch you. Mm -hmm. Like you never know. And I know this is off topic and we're supposed to end this video, but you know, living the Christian life, like the world is watching. Like mm -hmm. I mean they they're they hear us talking about stuff, but and, like, they hear us saying things, like we're quoting the Bible and stuff. But they're trying to, they're, they watch our lives and they like try to check and see if we're living out those things that we right. say. But they want to, an opportunity yeah, that is true. to that is say true. that you're a hypocrite. You like, say this and this, but you're not even living it yourself. Exactly. In school, like, yeah. oh my gosh, like I've had this, y'all know who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. This one person who like, it seems like every opportunity she sought to find a wrong in me oh, yeah. so that she could fault Christians. Yeah. yeah. It's like... Like, I honestly felt like a target the the entire time. And I know I'm not the only one. Like, Christians, beware. There are people out there that are seeking to devour you That's and true. your Christianity. And it's something in the Which Bible. Is so true. I mean, they so, want to find a wrong. Yeah. So that's why every day you live, live as if, you're, as if you can be convicted of a Christian. Yeah. What makes you guilty? Well, yeah. Like, if somebody asks you, what makes you? Christian? If you're a Christian, like, if you went to trial for being a Christian, do they have enough evidence to convict to prove to you yeah. guilty? On that note, sorry, we just went off topic. But if you want to hear us talk about any other topic, or if you want to hear us talk more about the dating thing and like our different perspective on certain things, then put it in the comments. Let us know, this. Let us know. Drop it in the comment section. Subscribe, like. Share. Tell everyone you know. Tell Share everyone like if you, you know. If you, you can <laughs> tell everybody. Us. You can tell everybody. I'm the girl. I'm, I'm the girl. girl. I'm the girl. Yes, tell your mama and your, your daddy and your sister. <laughs> that we the girls. We the girls. We the girls. Oh. <laughs> like, hit that like button. Like, smash it. Subscribe. Smash it. Share. Get to know us. Make it do well. what it do. Yes. Okay, bye. <laughs>